Welcome to the first JNL postcard video. Today, a weekend getaway to Stanford, Connecticut, which is a short drive from New York City. It's about 50 minutes if you leave around 8 a.m. on a Saturday morning, and you will avoid most of the traffic. Our first stop is the Montgomery Pine Tums Loop, which offers a nice park with a moderately challenging walk through the woods of Greenwich, Connecticut. Partway through the walk is Windigal, which was the mansion of Ernest Seddon, a renowned naturalist, explorer, and co-founder of the Boy Scouts. This is a great spot for those that enjoy a little bit of history, like my husband. Our next stop is downtown Stanford, where you can find artistic treasures, like this very realistic statue of a painter that you can see here. It is so lifelike, we almost mistook them for real people and asked them for directions. Now our favorite breakfast spot is the Stanford Diner. This is an upscale greasy spoon with a retro art deco twist. The food servings are large, but the prices match. Sorry we did not take any pictures, but we were too busy eating the food. I will personally recommend the French toasts. We enjoyed also a visit to the Veterans Memorial Park. It's a nice little park and it's very, very cute, both in the day and night. We decided to stop by Half Full Brewery which owns a location called The Third Place. We enjoyed a night of games and okay beer, with very good music though, but sadly no food. So we definitely had to move our night to a new spot. While looking for food, we run across this very creepy church. And a place that I thought was a dancing studio, but my husband thought it was a strip club. We still don't know the answer to that. Also a library, which is, according to TripAdvisor, a place that you must visit when you come to Stanford. Finally, we reach Atlantic Street, which then becomes Bedford Street, 
where all the good restaurants are present. Here you can find any option of food for every taste. At the end, we decided to go to a Peruvian place called Aquario. They serve a very good ceviche and better drinks. At the end of the day, if you can drive back, you can always take the train.